In this video today, I'll show how I built a paper model of a Type 4 Horo self-propelled gun by converting it from a Type 97 chassis plus its crew. I start by cutting out the parts of the Type 97 chassis, except for the turret parts. First, I assemble the base of the hull. Then the set of tracks and wheels. I made a set of wheels to add texture and detail to the set of tracks. Then glued them to the hull. I also made a set of tracks with carton to add more detail. Next, I then assembled the parts of the upper hull. I also altered the rear of the hull to resemble more of that of the first Jiha variant. Then glued the altar parts back on, along with the rest of the upper hull. Then I assembled and glued on the exhaust pipes and mufflers. Next, I then cut open the turret base to build the main gun and crew compartment, which I then cut apart into four pieces, then glue them back onto the walls of the crew compartment. Now for the main gun and its housing, all of which I made from paper and carton. First, I glue on the chairs, then assembled the main gun, then got started on building its housing compartment. Afterwards, I altered the upper hull once more and added more details such as rivets, air intakes, and hatches. Then, I glued on the main gun, which was made from rolled up paper and layers of carton. I then used pieces of paper card material to build the Type 97 machine gun mounted on the roof. Then to finish it off, I added the ammo crate and tools, which were also made from carton. Moving on to painting, I start with the white primer, then base coat the tank in olive green. For the secondary camo color, I used Japanese uniform. And for the third, I used pale brown. For the interior, I used beige. And the seats, I used pale sand. I then painted the engine mufflers in dark sand. and the exhaust pipes with cavalry brown. For the tools and repair jack, I use natural steel. Then I use orange brown to paint the wooden handles of the tools. For the machine gun, I use gunmetal gray.
Then again, use orange brown to paint the gun stock. And the tracks were painted using a mixture of natural steel and black. I then used black to paint the number plate and flat red for the tail light, brass for the imperial star, chrome silver for the headlight, and pale blue for the driver view slit. Then I used off white and flat red for the decal markings. And then, I used a diluted black-brown as a wash for the tank. And a diluted amaranth red as a wash for the tracks. While waiting for it to dry, I started making the crew using two Ottoman artillery crew figures. I started by carving their legs so they can fit in the tank and the Turkish army hats to look like tank hats of the Imperial Japanese army. Then using paper and carton, I made two sets of goggles and gun holsters. Once they were made, I primed and started painting them. I start with painting the flesh using salmon rose. For the uniform, I use a mixture of Japanese uniform and beige. The tank hat was then painted using leather brown. The holster straps and belt were painted using whole red. and the gun holster was painted using red leather. The goggle straps were painted using pale sand. And the goggle lenses were painted using pale blue. The gloves were painted using off-white. For the uniform insignia, I used flat red. Then for the 150mm round, I painted the shell casing with brass, and the fuse was painted using copper. Then I used a diluted orange brown as a flesh tone, and a diluted black brown as a wash for the uniform. Once painted, I then glue them to the interior to operate the main gun. That's also all for this tutorial. I hope you all like this one.